What's up, y'all? This is Brian Fonseca from FanDuel, and welcome to Quick Picks. I'm your host today, and we're going to be talking about season win totals for Major League Baseball teams. We're picking three. We're going to hone in on them. First, beginning with the Minnesota Twins, under 81 and a half, minus 106 at the time of this recording. They have a brand new starting pitching rotation. All five spots, new players. Sonny Gray. Was an all-star recently. Is he going to be able to recapture that form? Chris Archer was very good at one point. Is he going to be able to recapture that? He's on a one-year prove-it deal. Byron Buxton has not been healthy for the duration of his career. Has not played even 100 games all but one time. And that was in 2017. Carlos Correa, how much is he going to be able to add to this nucleus? And we've seen big bats, big hitters, big names go from one team to another and not have a dramatic impact on winning. There's just too many questions for me to feel comfortable about taking the over here. I will acknowledge that I did go back and forth on this a little bit, but I don't think the Twins are quite there. I don't think they're a bad team necessarily, but I have a lot of questions as it pertains to their health and whether or not they simply have enough to really compete in a division where the Chicago White Sox are gonna look dominant. Next up, we have the Boston Red Sox. Over 85 and a half, plus 100. If you watch Quick Picks a while back, I picked them to win the American League East. So obviously, I'm going to take the over here. They're in a division with the Tampa Bay Rays, Toronto Blue Jays, and New York Yankees, all of whom are very good. They're all going to beat up on the Baltimore Orioles, but the Boston Red Sox have constantly been competitive throughout the duration of a very long time, really. 92 wins last year. You're adding Trevor Story to the lineup with Rafi Devers, Xander Bogarts, and J.D. Martinez, among others. Nathan Navaldi is back to anchor that rotation. Alex Cora is one of the only managers who matter. The question here is their starting pitching rotation. Chris Sale begins on a 60-day IL. Are they going to do something between now and the trade deadline to bolster their rotation and obviously help their chances at really competing? That's the big question. I think they will, and I'm betting on that. Last up, we have the Los Angeles Angels, over 83 and a half, minus 130 at the time of this recording. Shohei Otani, MLB cover athlete, MLB the show cover athlete, that is. And also the MVP last year in the American League. Expect him to have another great two-way season. Noah Syndergaard edition, take it from a Mets fan, he's going to have a chip on his shoulders on a one-year prove-it deal and playing for a long-term contract. Expect him to be very good so long as he can remain healthy, which has always been a big question mark for Noah Syndergaard. But nonetheless, expect him to be very good. I trust closer Raciel Iglesias, who signed a contract extension, shout out to him, this winter for four years. Uh, expect him to have another big season this year. Patrick Sandoval and Jose Suarez, nice rotation pieces who should take the next step in their development. You have Mike Trout. And the key for me is Anthony Rendon. If he can remain healthy this season and play a good amount, he should be able to help that lineup be where it should be. And you have a division with the Seattle Mariners and Texas Rangers and Oakland A's, none of whom I think are going to be that competitive this year with respect to the Seattle Mariners, who people are high on. I'm just not. So we're going with the Angels over 83 and a half. And today, that's all we had. Bet with your chest. Do it responsibly. And remember, if you're betting on baseball, you're going to need luck because, well, if you follow the sport, that's just how it goes. Take care.